Hi guys, it's me, Trudy Lee. How's everybody doing? Have y'all taken a sigh of relief now? <laughs> I'm sure y'all are watching a little bit of the news here and there, even though we've decided not to watch any news. We can't help but see things coming across our phone. And if you're watching YouTube, you're going to pick up on all the noise, all the things that are happening. And it's exciting and I want to talk a little bit about that, and I will in just a minute. I'm hoping the electricity is going to stay on here. It looks really dark. <clears throat> it's only around noon here, but uh, yesterday we had a storm come through. It's raining. Poor little kitty cat's under my bed. It thundered and lightning last night like crazy. It rained so hard yesterday evening that uh, we have a view in, in our back window. We couldn't even see anything. You could not see anything through the rain. It was coming down in sheets. And uh, I, I think it lasted um, maybe 45 minutes really, really hard. And then it kind of tapered off. And uh, yeah, Addy Cat stayed under the bed for quite some time. And today it started thundering again. Poor little thing. Uh, when I'm getting ready, I'm putting on my makeup. She comes and sleeps in the sink while I put on makeup. And it started thundering. So she ran away and hid back under the bed. So that's where she's at. The other cat, Frazier, doesn't bother him a bit. He's, he took her place in the sink. So he's over there in the sink right now. He don't care. It's right by the window. If it's thundering, raining, doesn't bother him a bit. Puts him right to sleep, just like me. <laughs> but anyway, we're, our um, temperature is only like 76. So it is nice. It's nice that it's not almost 100 degrees. So... It's supposed to rain all week long. Hopefully, the lake close to us, Canyon Lake, hopefully it'll fill up because it was like 50% down. So hopefully, uh, everybody's experiencing some good weather, some cooler weather, I hope. So what I really wanted to talk to y'all about is, you know, the elephant in the room. Um, I just want to give you guys a message about our shared experience. That's the way I'm looking at this. We shared an experience all together. You know, we've had some huge ups and downs. But with, as with all experiences, we have learned lessons, you know. Now, I, for one, felt so betrayed and disappointed in people that I had so admired, like Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, Chuck Schumer, that's just to name a few, and I, I know a lot of y'all have felt the same way as I did, but look how things have turned around in the last couple of days. It's crazy. Um, look how much money has been raised. Kamala Harris raised like $100 million after Joe Biden endorsed her. So it's going really, really good. Uh, you know, everyone is very, very excited. There's so much um, good energy, you know, and I always felt that at some point Kamala Harris would be president. I always felt that, you know, I don't make predictions about death or anything like that because that's, that's not, um, you know, that's not what I do and that's not my place, put it that way. But I always felt like it's okay, we can vote in Joe Biden because we're going to have, you know, Kamala Harris right there. She's perfect. She's fine. And uh, so I was I was just cool with voting him in. I know y'all were too. Um, you know, I just thought she'll be there to pick up the pieces if and when that time comes. But, you know, the people that we admired and that we so quickly lost trust in, they could see things a little different than we do. You know, they're closer. They've been in this, um, this game, this political game for a long, long time. You know, we seem to have forgotten that they know what they're doing. And we had so much faith in them that we had already put into motion uh, a plan of manifestation. Manif Sorry, my phone was ringing. Uh, manifestation, you know, of this blue wave. It, 
we, we already put this in motion, you guys, and we can't dictate how it's going to happen. We wanted this to happen. We want this blue wave to happen. We want to protect uh, democracy. We've asked for it. We've prayed for it. We've trusted that this was going to happen. And then we're saying, wait a minute. <laughs> what are y'all doing? You know, um, we can never ever dictate or understand how the universe will evolve, you know, how things will um, just fall into place. But I had always said that President Biden wouldn't step down in, unless it was, you know, his health. But they put a lot, a lot of pressure on him. And that pressure that they put on Biden, I feel like it really did hurt his health also because it was a lot of stress. And when you're a lot of stress, your immunities go down. You can get sick. He got COVID. Uh, I believe that he's sicker than we know. You know, they're saying he's just, you know, recovering from COVID. But I think it really knocked his knocked him down. You know, and he just started thinking. It gave him a chance to really reflect on his actions and if what he was doing for the people were, were the best, you know. It slowed him down. And he got so sick that he decided to, you know, change his mind and endorse Kamala Harris. But I think, you know, it, it's all planned out. Everything is in plan and motion. Things are happening as they should. And even though, you know, we feel hurt for President Biden, you know, because we feel like he was betrayed. But it's not so much he was betrayed as everybody wanted to do what was best for the country because nobody wants to see Trump in power. No, I mean, yeah, some... Some of those hardcore Republicans, those MAGAs, but most people don't want this. And, you know, President Biden's not going to get any younger. He's just going to get older. And he's getting old very quickly, you know. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's just coming on very, very rapidly. And he'll continue to you know, have slip-ups. He'll continue to do things that actually the media will um, shine a light on his actions. And they're just like tearing him apart. They're tearing him down. So this is a way to preserve President Biden and all the wonderful things that he's done for the country in the last four years. We don't need to see him uh, you know, grow old before our eyes because we're all going to grow old. We all are going to have lapses in memory and do dumb things. We, we're all going to do that, but they're really scrutinizing him. And, you know, these are the last years of his life and he's given all that he has to all of us, to, to this country. And we really don't need to take away every moment that he has and just uh, tear it into pieces. You know, I know... Y'all don't want that for him, and I don't want that for him either. We want him to enjoy his remaining years of his life. Um, you know, I was ready to vote for him as long as he had a pulse. I would vote for him, and I know you guys would too. But our prayers to protect President Biden have been answered. He will be protected. He will be able to live in dignity without a spotlight on him. You know... It's not what we anticipated, but President Biden, you know, he would have stayed in the run for president if he would have felt healthy enough to do so. I've always said that, and I really believe that. So, you know, this is, this is for the best for the country and for President Biden, too. So I know we were all hurt when we heard, you know, that he was stepping down. But let's all be joyful now. You know, when we send joy and love to President Biden, it will touch his soul, it will lift his spirits. And that's what we need to do. Just send him lots of love and light and joy, and he can live the rest of his life in joyfulness. You know, I know right now President Biden is saying, well, good golly, I didn't know everybody wanted Kamala Harris 
as president. He's looking at all this going, wow, you know, he's just astounded, really. Just like, you know, confirmation for him that he's made the right decision. This is lifting him up. It really is. He's happy with his decision. And then we're going to be able to come and see him make a speech and um, be respected and have the dignity and respect that he deserves. You know, now uh, that Kamala Harris is taking his place, that the younger generation is so excited to go vote. Women will support her. Black people will support her. Brown people will support her. People that have immigrated here will support her. And of course, all us Democrats will support her. Um, this is the blue wave that we have been talking about for so long. It's coming together, you guys. The Republicans are shaking in their boots, of course. Speaker Johnson said that there's going to be legal challenges um, for putting up a different nominee. It's invalidating all of our votes. Well, we're, we're changing our votes, okay? It's not invalidating. We want Kamala Harris. If Biden wants her, so do we, right? So, and also the state ballot deadlines, I, I don't think that they've, they've passed yet. So it's going to be okay. It, it really is. Of course, the Republicans will try to do anything that they can to get Kamala Harris off the ballot because she is a huge threat to them and they know it, but they're not going to be successful in doing that. And but of course, you know how they are. They'll, they'll try all kinds of things, but it's, it's not going to be successful because there are, there's overwhelming support for Kamala Harris. There's just so many, it's just so much, it's so overwhelming. And they're scared, and they should be. <laughs> you know, they wanted Biden out, and that's what they got. They got what they wanted, and now they're realizing that wasn't a good idea after all. You know, he's too old, well then we'll put in Kamala. And now they're, what the hell did we just do? <laughs> You know, she's not so easy to pick on as President Biden. You know, I, I am looking forward to seeing Kamala and Trump debate. I can't wait to see their debate because I know she's going to clean the floor with them and she's going to do it with her beautiful smile and laughter. I, she has such good energy. She has really high energy. And, uh, you know, I think Pete Buttigieg, would make a wonderful vice president. I love him. Wouldn't that be a wonderful ticket? That would be beautiful. Um, but all will be well, you guys. You have manifested this. You have. Keep on sending love and light to Kamala, to Joe, to Nancy, to Adam, to Chuck, because we are all manifesting the desired outcome. Let's have faith and let's trust that the universe will provide that outcome that we all want and we've all been focused on. So keep the focus and know everything is working out as it should. We can't always know the path that it will take to get there, but it's getting there, right? So y'all don't worry. Everything's going to be fine, okay? All right. Love you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful day. And uh, do something kind for somebody. It'll always come back to you. Bye for now.